Hey everyone, today I'm going to be opening up another MetaZoo Nightfall box. I did get this off of one of the sellers on the marketplace for the Facebook page. Um, I'm opening it up now because I didn't know, I thought it was going to be mint. Uh, unfortunately, when he did send it, the way I guess it was packaged, it ended up kind of cutting a slit in the um, cellophane, which that's not his fault really. It's just kind of you know, the box itself, but this is also a test to see whether or not and make sure that everything is good to go because I did pay via um, Venmo instead of PayPal like I normally do. So I just wanted to make sure that everything is good to go also. And because I do have a, another second edition Cryptid Nation box to open and this one kind of had a little bit of tearing right there. Again, I think due to the whole uh, box and this one also actually had I don't know if all the second editions are like this, but it's the cellophane or plastic on it is like a little stretchy. So this kind of gives me an, an indication of whether or not anything has been tampered with or we should be good to go. But anywho, I'm also, since my last video, sorry, I just washed my hands. Um, since the last video, I actually started looking a little bit into the set a little bit more to see, you know, what exactly is in the set, what are things to look out for. Obviously, I still want the Wendigo. I did pull a Mothman, and I haven't messed with anything Nightfall since. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do this today and find out what I get. Hopefully, it's some good stuff. I do still want the Wendigo card. Long story short, one of the main reasons I want it is obviously I really like it too. Um, come no, no. What is it? June. I'll be going down to New York, I'm not New York, I'm sorry, North Carolina for Collecticon. And I've never been to a Collecticon and I see that MetaZoo is gonna be there. So I'm hoping some of the artists will be there and some of my favorite arts that I have come to find, I would like to go ahead and get some of them signed for my own personal collection and see where that goes. And I've never done anything authenticated like um, autographed wise through PSA so when it comes to grading cards so that will be a first for me to get a card signed hopefully it's mint and get that signed and sent off to PSA but let's go ahead and start off with this I will also be going to GalaxyCon in Richmond in what is it two weeks now or so I think I don't remember the order for these I think I don't remember if there's like it's like Pokemon. I, I know there's some on the on the back in the hollow or the reverse is in the middle somewhere, but I guess I'll figure it out as we go. But Arkansas Snipe, La Ferlang, Excavation, Fu Follet, I can't remember. Great Blizzard, Headless Nun. I want the what is it, the reverse hollow of this? Or is there a hollow as well? I don't remember. But which is lightning. And okay, so I actually oh, okay, so Bell Witch too. So this card, coincidentally, I pulled the hollow version of it in one of my other, is there an indent on that? Or is that just the spell book right there, I think. Let me use the spell book, do I have another dark card? Oh, I guess it's just the spell book right, piece right there. Anywho, I pulled the full hollow of this and it was funny because I made a comment saying that the reverse hollow is even more difficult to see but I guess you can kind of see it right there a little bit it's not really much but I still like the card I like the artwork on it so and it's it's mint damn hopefully that uh that's a good omen for the rest of this box but so let's see it was how many cards from the back was it one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, cool. So I know that for the next one. All righty. Now, since I've opened up this lab, I did find out, and of course, I'm still new to MetaZoo, so I'm learning. So apologies if I don't get everything perfect. But there is Old Scratch in this set. And Old Scratch is the game-winning card you kind of want uh, as the, for the secret rare from what I've seen online. I've only seen a handful of them in the... Um, in the actual groups so we'll see what happens so board from the earth dynamite token ground water aura absorb aura water baby i really don't it just creeps me out all right 
uh, Shimmer, Iceberg, Brain in a Jar, Crystallized Light, Veggie Man, another Obsidian Obelisk Reverse. That's okay. All right, I'll take it. We'll take that. I'm happy with that. I'm actually going to move this over here. I just want one win to go. Just want one win to go. Twin Meteor, Stained Glass, Suburban, Dark Aura, Air Rods, is it, yeah, Rods, Light Elemental, Possession, War Cry, Boost Aura, Spooky Kite, Unlucky Potion, Righteous Reckoning, okay, I'll take this, this is, I actually wanted another copy of this too, um, how's the hollow on it, it does have a print line though right there, darn, oh well, binder card it is, um, I wanted to get another one of those anyway. I am hoping that Poncho will be there at Collecticon. Most of my favorite artworks are between him and who's the other person that draws. Um, I'm blanking on the names. There's like two other people. There's, there's another guy and then there's a girl that draws part of my favorite artworks and I was hoping that they would be there to get them signed. So lightning split. Shadow Togem, Raining, Forest Aura, Air Rods, Water Baby, Excavation, Poltergeist, uh, Murphy's Borough, Mud Monster, Torrental River, Dover Demon, another what in the world? Um, that's kind of weird. Three obelisks. My last box was completely random. I don't think I had any duplicates. This one, it's a little weird. Permafrost, Shadow Token, Lake, Forest Aura, Aura Powers, Ludwig, Tribe Trade, Graveyards Mud, Spooky Kite, Dispel Evil, Flood the Earth. I really like this card. I hadn't pulled one of these yet. It's such a pretty card, man. If you can see that. You got your little Loveland frog. Basically Noah's Ark. Is that a... Oh, I just realized. I never noticed that. That's a little... It's a boat with... I can't remember what the, what the cryptid is on that. It's one that the looks like a porcupine. It's pretty, though. It's very pretty. little tiny little neck right there in the corner i can't, don't think it's gonna focus dang that sucks but okay that's fine i am trying to figure out still how to play the game i did find out I, unfortunately in virginia at least chesterfield to richmond i didn't think that there was anybody around here that really played at all come to find out someone who is who have actually done deals with um with pokemon actually joined one of the MetaZoo groups and had said that, you know, he he started playing now too. So hopefully I can get together with him and actually learn how to play the game or if some of the other comic book shops around here will start. So I've never been a part of any like actual comic book TCGs or not comic book shops. Uh, uh, shoot. Local game stores. Uh, any of them actually, I've never participated, never did as a kid. Uh, I always wanted to because I played a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid, but not good enough to where I could actually do any of that stuff. Uh, I also couldn't afford a lot of cards when I was a kid. It was kind of like one of those, I'd maybe get like a pre-constructed deck or a pack every couple months, if that, if I saved up my allowance. Never really got trading cards. So, oh, Oklahoma Octopus. That's a cool one. Haven't pulled him yet. Uh, so now that I've been getting into trading cards, now I, I never really played Pokemon. I, I collect Pokemon mainly for literally the collectability. Um, I don't really play the game. I've tried doing the, uh, online app or the mobile app. Never really got into it. So, but MetaZoo on the other hand, to me is a little bit more interesting. So I'm hoping that. Maybe I can try that out. Plus, it doesn't seem... I mean, obviously, you do have people who play, like, more serious decks. 
But as an overall, I actually heard that this is really, really playable in a water deck. Um, overall, it just seems fun to play, especially with the wonky aspects to it that I already have this one. Dang, look at that print line. Good Lord. Uh, it just seems fun. It seems fun. And I, I'd love to have a couple friends that played it and we get together and do that. But um, we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. So, come on, where are my hollows? I'm just getting, I've only had two hollows so far. All right, so Forest Devil, a nameless token. I do like that artwork with the vampire. Ground, Flame Aura, Dark Lightning Orb. I don't think I pulled that before. Water Baby, Tea Kettle. I still, this was the, I pulled the reverse of him. This is the first time pulling the normal non-hollow. Interesting. Excavation, Feed Death. I love this artwork. Playing Dead, but then you have the one little eye open. Sinister Shadows, Zombie Apocalypse, and another Arkansas Snipe. I already have one of these. Eh, that, I have a feeling. See, those didn't have any print lines, I don't think. Maybe I'm going to have to look back over them and find out. But Either way, I, I want to collect a binder set of this at some point. I think this will probably be the last booster box I open. And then from here on, I'll probably just buy the cards outright to fill up the actual... Uh, binder but so Alaskan Vortex name was Token Dawn Frost Aura Amikook I love that name uh, Witcher 3 character oh did I just accidentally bend it uh, oops my bad Spooky Spirits Trinity Amulet Index Crystallize Light Zombie Apocalypse and another Arkansas Snipe uh, not looking too good on the full hollow so far. So hopefully that picks up. I'm actually going to move. Oh, good Lord. Give me one second. Can move this stuff over here to the left. I'll have to sift through that later. I still haven't sifted through the, the first little bit. I put all the uh, reverse hollows in my binder. But I and the, the normal hollows, but I haven't actually started, you know, doing the set itself. So Adam Ackler, Dynamite Token. Ooh, that one is all dinged up. Daytime, Forest Aura, Snipe, Cosmic Warp, Static Wand, Tuttle Bottoms Monster, Fiend Death, Copy Cup, which is Lightning, and a Mikook Reverse. Haven't gotten that yet, so that works for me. The first few of these were perfectly fine on the cut quality, so I don't know what's going on now. Staculates. Wait. T stalactites. Whoops. Dynamite. Nighttime. Spirit Aura. Arkansas Snipe. Witcher 3. Bandage Man. Poltergeist. Vanish, Spectre Moose, Quipalk, and Jack Frost. Haven't pulled this one either. So that works. I'm I'm perfectly fine with, with pulling stuff that I obviously have never pulled before. Because uh, it's new for me and it adds to my collection. But I just hate when you pull repeats. And I, I don't know the card value of those cards. It's, it's not probably not too terribly much at the moment. But we'll see. I have pulled so many of these. Born from the Earth, Tokens, Aura, Axel Hound, Wallow Lake Crustacean, Hollow Sheet Sheet, Vanish, Spooky Kite, Unlucky Potion, and another Momo. Well, not another one for this for this one. I've pulled one already. And I think I pulled the full hollow as well. Wood, Dynamite Desert, Comic Aura, Beast of Blade and Oro, Water Baby, Excavation, Smoky Spirits, Blizzard, Moose, Unholy Fire. This one creeps me out. And Lufferlang. Jesus Christ, what is going on? 
I'll just put the, this like that. I'm not getting lucky. Let me try a couple. Let's try a Wendigo pack. Jack Frost, Spiderling, City, Flame Aura, Axel Handle Hound, Crazy Critter Bald. I actually really like this. First, I thought this was this character was kind of dumb, and then over time, I was like, it's kind of adorable. Mermaid, Holy Water, Boost Aura, Spontaneous, which is Lightning, another Flood the Earth. Okay, I will take that. I do really like this card. Another print line? No, it's just the water. Okay. The last video I pulled the Mothman, um, I haven't, still haven't gotten anything else that's like rather big, I guess, per se. So actually, let me do, put this over here. Momo, Dynamite Token, Snowing, Dark Aura, Amikook, Wallow Lake, Halloween, Jack-O-Lantern, Vanish, Headless Nun, Veggie Man, and Alaskan Vortex. Is that the, the little red ink or blue ink thing? Yeah, a little owl. That one, see, it, okay, so this is one of the things I, I wanted to mention so one of my other videos i had said how i've been looking at psa cards and when it comes to the back for metazoo a lot of times either the top or the bottom will be like significantly larger but then you have ones like this where it actually like the centering is a lot better compared to the other ones and then i'm like so what exactly are they grading on with the metazoo stuff like are they are they grading based on oh this one's actually crooked a little bit too i think or maybe it's just because that, that little piece is raised up a little bit. I don't know. That one looks really cool, though. Um, so it makes me wonder, like, how how exactly are they, you know, grading on the centering and stuff for MetaZoo? Because it kind of goes against what they would normally would, would grade for. Guardian Angel, Dynamite. Ooh, these are all torn up. Like, look at that. Black Eyed Children, Ludwig, Frostbite, Tea Ket Ketler, Bubbling Brew, Headless Nun, and what is he? Tecon? Tecon? I've never seen him before. That's a new one. Plan. I have a little pile of Metazoo cards that I'm debating on sending at some point. If you saw one of my other videos, I do have a... I purchased a Error um, Mothman, like the Ghost Error, and I showed that off at the beginning of one of them. And then I also have like the normal Mothman, and I've got two Errors that I'm debating on sending. What in the world? This one's got like a cut on it. The other one has two errors that um, are upside down reverse or upside down hollows. One of them is the reverse hollow of the Wendigo. And then the other one is the, I think it's the Halloween second edition Wendigo where the holographic is upside down as well. Unfortunately, that one does have a print line, which sucks, but I mean, it happens. Oh, okay. Speaking of Mothman, there we go. So Mothman, Stained Glass. This is probably one of my favorite arts that they've done. Oh, as a side note, uh, if anyone ha hasn't seen this already today, uh, the Kickstarter has, has put an update saying that they will be including uh, for, what is it, 10 original arts for each of the, of the top three. Oh, okay. Hollow Adam Ackler. For each of the top three backers. The Archcaster, cast, or Archcaster, Headcaster, and whatever the other one is. I have the top one pre-ordered. I also have the sheet pre-ordered as well. Well, the, the promo sheet. I didn't really care about the, the playing cards. Although I did see that they put out a post saying that 
you know, those who, who did order the first three sheets, you have a chance to get one of one as a holographic, and then the other, the last 75, whatever the remaining of the holographic versions of those, will be randomly inserted into boxes. So hopefully I do get one of those. Did I already? I don't know if I did. Um, I did. Okay. So hopefully I end up getting one of those too. And then they had said, oh, I haven't pulled him yet. The hollow version. I didn't know he had a hollow version. Okay. At least the... Well, he's got a nick right there, but at least the the hollow rares and reverses are better better condition than some of the uncommons and commons. But hoping to get another one of those sheets, and we'll see what happens. I'd like to get them framed and put in my office. Most of my stuff in here is Funko related. What is going on? Is uh, Funko related, Pokemon related, or you have a few miscellaneous things. Such as my uh, crypto 137 uh, statue. But everything else is, you know, one of the two. But I do plan on whatever the, the, the original arts are, depending on the sizes. I'll probably find a way to get those framed as well and put those up on the wall. Abduction, stained glass, winter, forest aura, aura powers, cosmic warp, kinder bob orb. No. Kinderhook Blob, good lord. Pyre, Sinister Shadows, Zombie Apocalypse, and Charles Gargoyle. I think I... Is that another print line? Or is that... No, that's just the statue that he's sitting on. I never noticed, there's an actual M. I guess that's for the MetaZoo. Um... Shoot, I lost my train of thought. Oh, well, must have not been important. All right. I'm actually trying to go through the rest of this. I'm on my lunch break from work. I luckily get to work from home. So this gives me something to do in the meantime. Red Ghost, Tentacle Token, Cosmic Aura, Snipe, Ludwig... Blob, Frostbite, Bloody Bones, Holy Eyes, Robert, Hollow Jack Frost. Oh my gosh, this one is, has a print line and then it's all scratched up right there. Oof. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, it'll go into a binder, but... Still, I think this box I paid... Like 220 shipped. But then again, you never know what you're going to get out of the box. Dang, that sucks. Now I'm a little worried to open up the other one. Thunderbird, Stained Glass, Dawn, Water Aura. Lufferlang, Mermaid, Iceberg, Bloodlust, Headless Nun, and, oh, Injured cold, cold. Please tell me this one's good. It is. Okay, good. I actually also haven't pulled this one as a hollow either. So, let me look at the condition. Actually... Looks like there's like a little indent on the bottom. It sucks, because the rest of the card looks great. Maybe, oh no, maybe it's just the way it's cut. Yeah, just the way it's cut. Mm, that still kind of sucks, though. Alright, so we've got a little bit left. Debating on splitting this up into two different videos, but then I was like, eh, you know what, I'll just do this. All right, so Dark Aura, Land Tax, Possession, Tribe Trade, Fiend Death, Caster, Dispel, another Gargoyle, and a couple of other stuff. All right. Yeah, there's the MetaZoo. Does it say, let's just get a question mark. I don't know. 
Maybe that stands for something else. I don't know. All right. Destroy Aura, Land Tax, Iceberg, Bottoms Monster, Bloodlust, Copica. I actually haven't, I don't know if I pulled that yet. Quapok. Oh, another Mothman. I will take that. And actually, no, never mind. I was thinking it was like a slight error. Let's see. Uh, he's got some whitening up there. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. This happens though. This is what you take you take the chance of. Normally I get as a, like before, at least Pokemon related, I normally just buy the cards outright. That way I can see the condition. And if I have to pay a little extra for the condition, you know, that it is what it is. But I like things being in a specific or to look a specific way for my own OCD. Oh, there we go. Mothman again. Auras. Frostbite amulet. And the hollow version of this. And this one's got a dick ding too. Good lord, man. What is going on? That sucks. But at least I, if I make a... Sorry, I keep getting notifications on my phone. My ring is going nuts every single time someone drives it on the house. At least if I make a dark deck, I uh, will have plenty of cards to use. So, I'm an idiot. Okay, I thought I had pulled one too many cards. Oh well, well you know what this is. <laughs> that works. The little Wizard of Oz monkeys. Let's see if there's anything else in there. No. Okay. And let me move this stuff over here. All right. I have a pile of wrappers right next to me. All right. Potion Cellar. Oh my gosh. Daytime Aura. Mudwig Tribe. Holy Water. Boost Aura. Copy Cup. Robert the Doll. And Reverse Crustacean. I'll take that. I haven't pulled him yet. And I think we're down to only a handful of packs now. I'm just going to pull all these out. I'll just kind of sift through these because I don't have too much time left. And Lightning Alley. Oh, so I actually... I actually had pulled the reverse of this, and I thought that that, that might have been like the only hollow, or rather, that this couldn't have been a hollow, but I wasn't certain if the lightning would be a hollow or if it was the reverse. Anyway, point is, now I have both, so that works for me. And there's a little ding right there that sucks. But, man, what is going on with this card quality? The other one I had was, was perfect. It was perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. This one just... Everything in here is not the best. I don't think there's been a single, like, amazing condition card at all. Boil, Dynamite, Snowing, Frost, Dark Aura, Ludwig, Iceberg, Trinity Unit, Amulet, not Unit, Spiders, Destroy Terror. I haven't seen that yet. Destroy Terror Page in the Arena. Okay. And another Prism Beam. I've got... Three of these, I think, so far in my collection. See, but that's what I mean. Like, how big the bottom is compared to the top. And I've seen PSA 10s that will have this for the centering. So that's what kind of confuses me as to, like, what, what exactly they look for. Yeah. 
Lightning Rods, Crazy Critter, Imprisonment, Boogeyman, and nope, one more. And Air Rods. I don't think I have this one either, so that works for me. All right, I think we've got like five more after this. All right, Born from the Earth. I saw a dark, oh man. Nameless Token, River, Light Aura, Blessed, Crazy Critter, Frostbite, Tribe Trade, Fiend Death, Purple Blob, Dispel Evil. Oh, nope, Adduction. Okay, I'll take that. I only have one other ones of these, so, ooh, the centering on that. Good lord. That'll definitely be my binder card. I, the reason I keep saying that is I'm normally a PSA collector. I never really, never really been one to collect uh, binder sets, but since getting into MetaZoo and looking at the artwork, and I really like hand drawn stuff, I kind of, well, I am going to be trying to build certain MetaZoo sets as a binder set, just because I, I really enjoy the artwork and I enjoy looking at it, so. We'll see what happens. Prism Beam, Spider, Dusk, Earth, Kook, Ludwig, Tribal War Cry, Poltergeist. I really like I like this guy. Unholy Fire and Reverse Adam Ackler. I think I've got this one, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, Aura, Hound, Baby, Possession, Mermaid, Boogeyman. Oof, that one is all torn up. Spectre, Unlucky Potion, and Columbia River Squonk. Well, now I'm kind of hoping I don't get a one to go in this, in this booster box because of the sheer fact of the way the card quality has been. Obviously, that's not MetaZoo's fault. It's whatever the manufacturer who does these, but I don't know. None, Vampire, another Obelisk Reverse. Good Lord. All right, two more packs. Bear with me. Oh, Zombie. All right. Smoke screen, boogeyman, caster, and oh, okay, that works. Qualpalik, Qualu, Qualupalik. I can't pronounce that. All right. And last one. Hopefully, we get something good in this. I'm gonna hope. All right, Prism Beam, Stained Glass, Forest, Aura, Blast. I don't think I've pulled him before. Lake Monster. This page attacks deal 20, 20 damage if you are on or can see a real boat. Huh. Okay. It makes me wonder when it comes... Oh, I haven't... Did I pull this already? No, I did. I did pull this one the other day. Um, it makes me wonder, if they ever do, like, tournaments and stuff, how exactly... I know, I think Dr. Applesauce did one. I don't know how... I heard it went well. But it makes me wonder, like, if you go to card shops, when it comes to, like, the extra effects and everything else that goes on, are they going to... What's the word I'm looking for? Are they going to allow you to bring certain props or anything like that? Or are they just going to, like, negate the extra effects? Or, like, assume that they're already in play or something of that factor. So, curious on how that goes. But, anywho. Uh, besides the amount of obsidian and obelisks that I got, uh, not too bad. Not too, too bad. A lot of these, I'll probably go through, see which ones I have, which ones I have duplicates of, and decide whether or not I'm going to keep them or not. So, 
for any decks or anything like that that I want to play. But anywho, if you enjoyed the video, press like. If not, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this stuff, so I don't really know the proper way to do this. I'm kind of just going at my own pace. So anywho, uh, hope you all have a nice day. It's super pretty outside for me. So I will be outside as soon as I get off of work. And uh, yeah, otherwise, see y'all later.